everyone. So as of today, Google has finally merged or unified Ad Exchange UI tags into Google Ad Manager, and they call it Ad Manager Ad Units. So basically, when you go to Inventory and Ad Units, you're going to see them right here on the list, the first four products that we support. So we have Display, Games, Mobile App, and Video. Let's say, for example, your publisher wants to do hard-coded setup, or they're not using DFP, or you need to create house tags or house ad exchange tags. What you need to do is first determine which product are they going to run. So let's say if they do display, you have to click this, and then you have to create a new ad unit, and then you say one level below ad exchange display. So this now allows you to create what we call the grandmother tag. So you can say test underscore NP or network partner. And the same for the code and the name. You can skip the rest. And then just say save. All right. Now, once that's done, you're already on that unit. So now you can create the mother tag. And now you select one level below test underscore NP. And this time you can create whatever the mother tag is. So you say test.com and still skip the sizes. You don't need that for now. And then we'll make sure that the target window change to blank so it opens to a different tab when clicked then all other settings you need and then just say save now because some of the settings will be inherited as well let me just go back a little bit um this test np tag the grandmother tag okay target window should be blank as well okay let's go ahead and save that and you do the same for the rest of the ad units when you, as you create them so once you have the mother tag, you can go ahead and create the children tags as well as needed. And of course, once you get the children tags, don't forget, you will need to specify the sizes for each of the ad unit you create and then change the target window. And if it's supposed to be um, part of any other, or if you have any other settings uh, relevant here, go ahead and do so and just save. So once you have everything set up, you can of course generate the tags from here, like so, and your settings will be at exchange tag instead of the regular GPT or GPT tag per video, like you have how you do it on BFP or Google Ad Manager. Let's go ahead and uh, create a or try it on a child tag, for example. All right, so let's say I'm going to generate the tag for this. So I select Add Exchange Tag, Continue, and then I will have to specify the size for this tag. There you go, Continue, and there it is. You now have the Add Exchange Tag that you used to uh, generate in, a, in the Ad Exchange user interface. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more. Hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.